The signal that the atmosphere is trying to give us is quite clear, telling us that there's something wrong with the system. World Health Organization reports that 92 to 95 percent of the world's population breathes unhealthy air. The impacts of air pollution affect me, my family, my community, with every single breath we take. We are missing the measurement infrastructure to understand how populations are actually being impacted by these emissions. And data is a really critical part of the puzzle. You can't manage what you can't measure. So for the last four years, we have been working with Aclima to equip a handful of Street View cars, and we've been driving around California. What we've done is we've put air quality equipment on the Street View cars, and it's taking an air quality reading every one second or so as the car drives down the street. And you're able to create a high resolution spatial map of the air quality. The first phase of our work proved that pollution is extremely variable. You can have the best air quality and the worst air quality on the same street. And so it also validated the need for this kind of mobile mapping. What this hyperlocal map does is it allows cities and individuals to make decisions on a very granular basis. So do I go to this park versus that park? And for cities, it helps them focus their efforts on specific areas that need it. With this data set, members of the public can see a picture of the air quality in their area that was completely hidden to them before. And this data has already proven to be valuable in understanding sources of pollution. Over the past four years, we've been working in a research phase. So today, I'm really excited to be able to finally say that we are scaling. We are now putting these air quality sensors on the Street View fleet and starting to collect these measurements in places that may not have ever had air quality data before. We're going to make this data open and put this in the hands of scientists, of governments, of other individuals that can use it to make a difference. The reality of climate change is going to require very bold moves, but we're excited to jump in and try something that's never been done before. Data gives nature a voice. And with this data, we'll have an incredible opportunity to really listen and to respond.